Hi, fifth graders. This is Mrs. Lamorne again, and today we're going to be doing Unit 7, Lesson 5, Trapezoids. Let's explore trapezoids. What do you know about trapezoids? Well, I know the trapezoid is a quadrilateral, so I could write that down, right? Trapezoids are quadrilaterals. Lateral, there we go, quadrilateral, okay. I also know that they have one pair of parallel sides, right, but that their side lengths are all different, right? One side of par parallel sides, but their side lengths are all different sizes, okay? All right. Draw some examples. So I just drew one. We could draw another one. Um, let's see, what does another one look like? Maybe this, that would be a trapezoid. We could draw lots. So I, I would be interested in seeing what you drew to make a trapezoid. Let's move on to the next part. How do you know these are trapezoids? Well, they have one pair of parallel sides, um, at least one pair, right? And that's how I know. And they're quadrilateral. All right. Some parallelograms are rectangles. Some parallelograms are squares. Is each statement true or false? I think that a parallelogram can be a rectangle, but it does not have to be a square, right? So a parallelogram has all four equal sides. So a rectangle is definitely a parallelogram, right? Parallel, parallel, and then a square is a parallelogram. Parallel, 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 parallel. All right, draw a trapezoid. Label the coordinates of the grid points that you used. Okay, so here we go, trapezoid. So I'm going to put my first point, let's see, up here. Um... Miss Lemoyne, you need a pen. Here we go. Four, nine. So there's four, nine. My second one, I'm going to go over to six and all the way up here. So again, that's six, nine. Remember, boys and girls, that when you do coordinates, they have to be in parentheses. And the first one is over and the second one is up. Y'all remember that? So I can connect that. And remember, I want... Um, sides that are not the same but two parallel sides so i'm going to go ahead and go over here to one five over one up five and then i'm going to go over here to let's say over here to seven five and that's going to make this line and then i can just connect to those dots so there's one i can make another one couldn't i i could do one one one, one. Could go up here to three, three. Remember, it only has to have one set of parallel lines. So that means this line, I'll stop right here, has to be parallel with this line. I mean, this one, I'm going to go all the way over here. So this line is going to be 10 over 10 up one. And this one's going to be over six up three. And then I could connect that line. So I drew two different ones there. Is it a square? Well, a square has to have what? Two lines that are, I'm sorry, all four or two sets of parallel lines, I should say, and 90 degree angles. And none of these have that. So I could say, nope. Is it a rectangle? Nope. No 90 degree angles, right? Um, it's not a rhombus either because a rhombus has to have equal sides. Is it a parallelogram? It's not a rectangle or a parallelogram because only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So no. Describe a trapezoid in your own words. Compare your definition to your partner. So for me, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has one pair of parallel sides. One pair of parallel sides. 
um, and it can't have two. It only has two. Is this shape a trapezoid according to your definition? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like it has two sets. It has two sets of parallel lines. So it depends on if you think that a, a trapezoid has two sets of parallel lines. I think it only has one, so I would say no. It is not because there are only two pairs of par there are two pairs of parallel lines and it can only have one pair of parallel lines. So let's see what the book says. Everybody saw that. How are these two uh, shapes the same? How are they different? They they are the same because they have each have one set of parallel lines. Right? They have no 90 degree angles and all of the lengths of the lines are different, right? So how are they different? They all have different lengths and they all have different angles too. Let's see what else they ask me. A trapezoid has exactly one pair of opposite sides parallel, but at least one pair of opposite sides parallel. According to which definition is this shape a trapezoid? So for this definition, this is a trapezoid. But this one is not. This one has exactly one. This one has at least one. And this trapezoid has two. What do you notice? What do you wonder? So over here I have two shapes, right? Two shapes. And then in this definition I have, or this picture, I have trapezoids, and then inside trapezoids I have parallelograms. Definition one, a trapezoid has exactly one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Definition number two, so this one is what I was using, one pair. This one has one, at least one pair. So that means I could include parallelograms with this one. So I think, I think that if we went back to these pictures, in definition number one that they talked about, a, trap, a parallelogram is not a trapezoid, right? Because there are two different spots. But in this definition, a parallelogram could be a trapezoid. So let's see. Which statements go with the first definition and which statements go with the second? All parallelograms are trapezoids. So that would go with definition number two. At least one pair, right? And that does this parallelogram thing. And then over here we had traps. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abbreviate. So over here we had trap, trapezoids, and parallelograms were separate. Over here we had all trapezoids and parallelograms were inside of that. No parallelograms or trapezoids, that would be definition number one. All trapezoids are parallelograms. All trapezoids are parallelograms. Which definition is that? I guess that would have to be definition number two. Some trapezoids are parallelograms. That's also definition number two. No trapezoids are parallelograms. I would say that would be definition number one. All right. Let's see what else they ask us. All right, let's see what they ask us to do next. Let's share how we matched the statements. Some people use the first definition of the trapezoid. We will be using the second definition. So this is the one that I originally had used, but our book wants us to use this definition. What does each diagram mean? This means that parallelograms are not trapezoids, right? They're in separate. All the trapezoids would fit in this shape and all the parallelograms would fit in this shape and they don't overlap, do they? In this definition, all the trapezoids would be in this shape and the parallelograms are inside the trapezoids. So the trapezoids, parallelograms are trapezoids. Which diagram matches the definition of the trapezoid we'll use? This one, doesn't it? We're gonna say the second definition, that some parallelograms are trapezoids. Today we looked at two different definitions for a trapezoid. What do you know about trapezoids now? Well, we have a lot that we know now, don't we? 
which of these shapes do you, are trapezoids and how do you know? So if we're going to use the second definition, it has to have at least, at least one set of parallel sides. So I would say that B, right, B, one set of parallel sides, one set of parallel sides. So C, A is not, and D, it has two sets, right? So I would say B, C, and D. They each have at least one pair of parallel sides. Where would these shapes go in the diagram? So D would go here, wouldn't it? Oops, let me go back again. Sorry about that. There we go. So D, let me erase that. D has, D is a parallelogram. So I'm going to put D here. And then B and C would go here because they're trapezoids, but they only have one set of parallel sides. And then A would go here because it's a quadrilateral, but it's not a trapezoid. All right. When is a quadrilateral also a trapezoid? When it has at least, at least one set of parallel sides. One set of parallel sides. So there are two definitions of trapezoids, but we're going to use the one that says that it has at least one pair of parallel sides. So let's put it here. A quadrilateral, well, we don't have to include that since it says that right here. Um, at least one pair of parallel sides. All right, which of the following shapes are trapezoids? So we would have to say A, B, C, E, and F. And we know that because they each have at least one set of parallel sides. All right, that's it for Unit 7, Lesson 5. I hope you join me again for Unit 7, Lesson 6.